Welcome. It's your black therapist, Jenny Gaston, and you know this is a place where we bring awareness to mental health. And I'm in the heart of nature right now. Um, just watch the sunrise. And um, this is one of my favorite spots I like to go to. Sometimes I see deer, uh, beavers, just never know what you're gonna see here. So um, today I wanted to use this time to give us all space to recharge ourselves but also to restore ourselves so get comfy for a second take a little break find a cozy spot maybe if you have a yoga mat um sit on that right now get comfortable pause this video for a second maybe get some blankets it's a bit uh chilly this morning fall is definitely on its way and so um yeah, have something hot if that's where you're at. So, today I wanted to focus on a meditation that really regards to your journey and your path. Many times we walk uh, with others that we love whether it's friends, family, intimate partners. But often the path that we take is meant to be taken alone. We cannot take every single person with us on every journey, right? And so for some of us that can be challenging. If you expect that each side road you go on the journey, that you must take someone with you, that someone must be there to support you. Not only will you expect too much from others, or maybe develop a sense of codependency on others, but you may put too much strain on those relationships. But um, consider where you're at in life and some of the goals that you set um, one of the goals that I set is to wake up every morning and engage in movement so whether it's stretching right so why don't we stretch together while we sit and chat go ahead and inhale through your nose and also out of your nose nose breathing through your nose is very um, crucial because it slows down your breath and it filters the air that comes in your body. Let's go ahead and look up at the sun. Thanking God for another day. Yes. Reach up, reach up, look up. And let's go ahead and stretch to your right, which is my left, I guess, since you're looking at me in this angle, and the other side. Right, and so engaging in movement is so key. Let's go ahead and take your right hand, place it on your left ear, and pull it out. I'm excited to share that I'm gonna be renewing my yoga certification that was expired during the pandemic. And so you're gonna see more videos like this. Go ahead and look down. You can go ahead and rub your shoulders give yourself some love let's go to the other side place your left hand on that right ear morning affirmation your journey is unique and your timeline is actually perfect don't compare yourself to others. In doing that, we either become prideful or we feel like we're not enough. But do know that you're perfectly where you need to be. Accept that and be thankful for your blessings. We can always focus on what we 
lack or what we don't have. Go ahead and look right. And as you look right, raise your right arm. Cross it at your left knee. I'm sorry, I'm sitting um, cross folded. So I'm doing a twist. I just realized you can't see my legs. All right, we're gonna do the opposite side. And it's good to look the opposite direction when you're twisted, kind of like you're wringing out your spine. Do know that not everyone is met to be with you for a lifetime. Some people are there for a moment, literally a moment. Um, some people are there for a little longer, but just know that each person you encounter, you are supposed to learn something from them. And so ask yourself, what did I learn from this person, from this experience? Because if not, um, you may be too hard on yourself and say, why didn't this friendship, situationship, relationship, whatever, partnership, business still last like I wanted it to? Nothing good comes from gripping and holding on to anything for too long. Go ahead and stretch those legs <laughs> in front of you. I'm going to reach up and fold. Nothing good comes from that. It's important to let the chips chips fall where they may. Um, see a little ant that wants to join me. And listen, guys, it's important when you're out in nature. Let's look up and stretch our backs here. Very nice. This is like a, a low, very mild back bend, right? Not too aggressive as we're warming up okay to be wise when you're out in nature not just women guys too um and so you know make sure you have a taser a pepper spray some actually have my um 380 with me um i have this if you're interested i could put in a description one of my girlfriends she's a um she used to be a pro officer but now she does IT she actually recommended it's almost like a waist trainer slash gun holster it's pretty uh, neat so I'll put it in the description but something you can uh, utilize is very discreet um, yes why is a serpent but harmless as doves definitely um, owned this gun for I want to say seven years. I never had to use it by the grace of God, and I hope ne that I never have to. Um, but I do like to go to the gun range and practice, right? I'm sorry, this video is all over the place, <laughs> right? A little slight ADD this morning, but ukone for all my souls out there. If you are enjoying this video, give me a thumbs up definitely subscribe and comment on what you're taking away with you maybe learning about safety this morning one thing that I always do when I'm running or walking a trail I always constantly change my path because you never know who is watching you and if you have children or teenagers that walk to school you know it's important to inform them that to constantly change your path on your way to school okay um, and this also challenges you, your mind, to know your direction and to know your areas, right? your community and your neighborhood. And so, safety precaution. <laughs> safety is key. Now, what are we talking about? Meditation. Um, let's inhale. Go ahead and look up. This is like a version of a cow. And let's curl like a cat. As you hold on to the side of your shins, you never want to grip your joints um, or lock your joints when you're exercising, right? Because that can cause harm. And 
we don't want to do that. So, inhale and exhale. I'm watching the sun rise. It's so beautiful. And it's important to engage in self-care and to enjoy not only the beauty of creation, but whatever you're into, um, whether it's artwork, poetry. I love journaling. I will place a link on how to journal somewhere using the cognitive behavioral therapy model. Um, but yeah, so enjoy life. And meditation is something we all do. It's not hard to do. It's simply repeating something, a phrase over and over again. And sadly, we many times <laughs> repeat things that don't serve us. Maybe perhaps we're hard on ourselves, repeat negative memories or experiences, right? Um, and so it's important to repeat words that will encourage us. I like to meditate on scripture. Um, for you are fearfully and beautifully made. And sometimes I would insert my name, right? Listen, I'm not trying to twist scriptures, but you know how God will say, I'm the God of Jacob. I'm the God of Jenny. And sometimes the scripture would talk about where how Christ relates to little children. And that's how he relates to you. Um, if you are a believer. And I'm sorry, don't check out if you're like, wait a minute, how did we go from mental health to... <laughs> um, religion but I don't really consider myself a religious person but I have a relationship with God and so you know um, that is what helps me to cope and so I have to be honest I have to be real that might not be your cup of tea and that's all good um, so where are we at with time all right I should probably wrap this up what do you think you want more? <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. So thank you for joining me in this hodgepodge, I don't know what I was doing this morning, situation. Um, I'll probably have a video of me geeking out somewhere, just dancing, create a short in the woods, right? Uh, because I love dancing and yeah, it's just my happy place. It's my form of therapy as well. So. Thanks for tuning in. That really supports me as a YouTuber. And much love. Also, also follow me on the gram at underscore your black therapist. Peace.